Today we will be going through the procedure for how to adjust the air gap on a brake. Only qualified personnel should attempt maintenance of Nord brakes. If you have a question about this procedure or are uncertain about any detail, seek clarification and do not proceed. For written instructions on how to perform this type of maintenance, you can download the Motor Brakes Installation and Maintenance Manual from www.nord.com. Before beginning any brake maintenance, disconnect the motor from the power source. Follow lockout tagout procedures. It is also important to make certain the application load is supported when servicing the brake. Removing power from the brake or removing the brake from the motor will release the application's load. For this procedure, you will need a metric T-handle or Allen key set, a feeler gauge, a metric wrench set, and the appropriate torque wrench according to Table 6. Using a metric T-handle, loosen the fixing screws that attach the brake to the motor's end shield. The brake assembly may be further loosened by using a metric wrench to turn the hollow screws or setting bolts clockwise into the brake coil housing. The desired air gap for each brake size is displayed in Table 6. Throughout the entire procedure, you will need to use your feeler gauge to check the air gap in several places. The feeler gauge should be positioned between the armature plate and the brake coil housing. Decreasing the air gap is accomplished by using a metric wrench to turn the setting bolts or hollow screws counterclockwise while securing the fixing screws. Decreasing the air gap can also be accomplished by using an Allen key to turn the fixing screws clockwise while securing the setting bolts. Increasing the air gap is accomplished by using a metric wrench to turn the setting bolts clockwise while securing the fixing screws. Increasing the air gap can also be accomplished by turning the fixing screws counterclockwise while securing the setting bolts. Using the appropriate torque wrench, retighten the fixing screws to the proper torque as indicated in Table 6. Using a feeler gauge, check the air gap in several places around the brake to verify that the air gap isn't too tight or too loose in any one spot. Repeat these steps until the air gap spacing is uniform around the entire brake. For more information, please reference the Nord Motor Brakes Installation and Maintenance Manual. This manual is available in electronic form in the documentation section of our website at www.nord.com.